now with Jesse Ventura and our live studio audience. Gun control. This is something I've been very animated about uh, yep. all this year with all the various gun outrages, especially yep. the uh, appalling thing at the cinema in, in, uh, in Colorado. Yep. Why is it that Americans, to me it seems, so many Americans cannot divorce their right to defend themselves with a gun to the apparent right to go and buy 6,000 rounds of ammunition, high-powered assault weapons, and go and murder Americans? Well, the best thing I can tell you, Piers, is this. Mexico has strict gun control. You cannot own a gun in Mexico. And they had 20,000 people dead last year in the drug cartel wars. But Mexico has a very particular problem involving drugs. I can right. cite you Britain. All right. Average, well, let me just okay. throw it back at you. In Britain, for example, an average of 35 people a year are murdered with guns. In Germany, it's about 40 to 50. France, the same. Spain, the same. Italy, there's a pattern here. America, 11 to 12,000 a year. Yeah. This country has more guns than anybody else yeah. and more gun murders. Yeah. It, it's inarguable, isn't it? No, not it at is. all. It is. Because, because I was in the Philippines physically the day Ferdinand Marcos declared martial law and made himself a dictator. And the first thing that dictator did, he gave the people of the Philippines two weeks to turn in all their guns or it was the death penalty. Now, why would a dictator do that? Why would he make his number one priority when he took over as dictator to disarm the public? The Second Amendment is there, so and it was put in there not for hunting and fishing, like they like to say, because back when they did it, if you didn't hunt or fish, you didn't eat. It was put in there so the citizens would have the ability, if their government became oppressive, they could defend themselves against oppressive government. And I think that overrules all the gun deaths because let's remember something. A gun is simply a tool. I have a gun safe at home, and I've never come home and heard those guns going off on their own. People kill people. All right, how many people here die because of car accidents of drunk driving? Do we go to the Ford Motor Company and tell them stop making these automobiles because people get drunk and kill people it's in a, cars? It's a facile argument. It's a what? It's a facile argument. There's no equivalence between drunk driving and lethal firearms. My point Wait is... Wait a minute. I have a no car problem. is a 2,000-pound projectile no that can problem. go 100 Jesse, miles an hour. Jesse, I have no problem with an American believing that their right under the Constitution is that they can defend themselves, especially in their own home, if they're being attacked and they have a, a weapon. It's also That's against fine. government. I have a big problem with a disturbed young man, as we saw in Colorado, being able to buy 6,000 rounds of ammunition and a high-powered assault weapon and go into a movie theater and blow away 70 Americans. I have a big problem with that. Well, and nobody else in America in high office seems to share that big well, problem. Well, I'll tell you what, Piers. I have a conceal and carry license. Had I been in there, I would have taken this guy out before he could have killed that many people. Well, I think that, again... But a... because, let's remember, police can't stop crimes. Police show up after they're over. Remember that. So when you talk about me not being able, if there would have been a legitimate conceal and carry in that theater, quite possibly they could have taken this guy out and saved people's lives. Or you lives. could have had the gunfight at the OK Corral in there and lost even more lives, couldn't you? That's what could happen. Anyway, let's take a well, break. What roll of the dice would you like? You'd prefer to be unarmed? How many people here think I make crackpot points? Yeah. <laughs> One. How many think I make sensible points? You're in a minority, my good friend. You're the minority. Let's. I said you made some sensible points. Let's go to another audience question from Jared uh, Grossman.